Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another online home decor shop with me. I was about to say that this was part two to the video I posted a couple days ago. That video had Pottery Barn, McGee & Co, Magnolia, Amber Interiors, and Connected Goods. But that video was so long, I will try not to make this one as long. However, there was more decor I wanted to share with you, but I needed to wrap that video up. So we're back with another one. And like I said, I was gonna say this was a part two, however, I think this is going to be an ongoing series. It kind of has been already. I think that this is such a fun way to share so much more home decor with you. I got a comment saying that I was pretty much your personal shopper and I was like, I love that so much because I love sharing home decor and as much as I want to buy everything, I can't. However, I might be able to find something that you have been looking for or that you've had in your mind and that you wanted. So just another reason to keep this series going. Today, I have a couple stores. I actually wasn't even planning on these stores, but I was searching online and ended up finding some really great stuff. So I was like, okay, that's all right, because this is ongoing. This is going to be an ongoing series, so it's okay that I don't get to everything. <laughs> anyway, I was on CB2 Terrain, which is basically Anthropology's like garden or outdoor site. Oh my gosh, I found so many good things from Terrain. I also have H&M Home in here, and I'm hoping to get to Zara. If not, I will do Zara in the next video, maybe on its own, depending on where we get today in this video. I really do try to narrow my absolute favorite items that I'm looking at on these sites, but I'm telling you, I found, I don't, oh, I found a lot, especially on Terrain. Oh my gosh, there is so many good things. In fact, let's go ahead and start on terrain because although it's still February, almost March, I think that we're all kind of, you know, getting ready for spring, thinking about like the different things we might be planting, maybe you already have. I live in a super warm climate, so it's already pretty much summer here. <laughs> so yeah, this could essentially get you ready for your spring and summer. Okay, so let's see what there is to share on terrain. Actually, I'm gonna start with anthropology because I actually only have a couple items from anthropology. Now, anthropology and terrain sometimes with certain things have a higher ticket item. However, I think their quality is really, really great. So I thought I would still share these with you. And for me, quality, I am willing to invest a little bit more. There are some things that I'm gonna share with you that you're gonna be like, dang girl. First being this marble wine bottle holder. I loved that this looked like a piece of art. I could see this in so many different spaces and I love that it holds three bottles of wine. I just, I felt like this would be really pretty in like an entryway, like just when you have guests coming over, you could, you know, if they bring you a bottle of wine, you can set them on there or, um, even in like an office area, if you want to do like a little mini bar in there, kitchen, a little bar space that you might have in like your living room or dining room whatever, anywhere that you have maybe a little bar, uh, bar space, this would be so beautiful. Now I prefer it in the color white or the white marble, but it does come in a dark green as well, which is pretty if that's your style. But this is so beautiful, so different. And I just like adding some of these more sculptural pieces to my space that help feel it a little bit more up to date. I love vintage, but mixing in some of that Modern does help balance it out a little bit. Another item from Anthropology is this marble side table. This has the fluted base, which you know how much I love fluted. To me, fluted gives me such an old world vibe. I absolutely love it. And you, you see it in so many antique pieces. It's just, I love fluted. I just love it. I think it is so handsome and this black, it's like black and white, like literal, it's marble, but it's also like a marbly effect. I guess that's marble. <laughs> Basically, it's it's so pretty. I, you'll see it on the screen. It is absolutely stunning. I feel like this mixed with some raw wood or linen couches or jute. Oh my gosh, this just would be such a beautiful piece to add into those textures. Now, I have a little bit more of a neutral style but I truly believe neutral 
can have a lot of interest because when you have a lot of neutral items, adding in different textures adds so much interest to the space. So although it could be all kind of neutrally colors, once you get in different materials like jutes and linens and marbles and all those different types of materials that add so much texture and interest and a lot of warmth to the space, I feel like is absolutely stunning. But then you add in something like this marble piece here that has a little bit more of that depth to it in color. Oh, so good. So good. And I, I guess I should back up and say, I like kind of like that light and airy with a dark piece like this mixed in. Mm. And a mid-tone. I am a big fan of having mid-tones mixed in with kind of that black and white contrast, throwing in like a jute rug or a woven basket or, you know, just kind of that like mid-tone, like a brown. Mm. So good. <laughs> now this Table lamp is quite modern for me, I gotta say, and it's kind of expensive, but I kind of loved it. It has this brass vase with this almost like alabaster finish on top. Let me double check and see what the, the finish is on top. It has like that more like mushroom or dome top, which I think that this would be absolutely gorgeous in an office space. And again, mixing with a lot of older antique materials, this just really helps it feel, I don't know, um, up to date, modern with the, with the time, you know? I don't know what the top is. Is it just plastic? It, it, I don't see it on here. Anyway, it's gorgeous, or maybe it's just glass. I'm not sure. It looks like it's alabaster, but for some reason, it's saying what the base is, but I don't see what the top is. Maybe I'm not looking hard enough. I will link everything down below if you want to check these items out. It's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, these tie backs, these curtain tie backs in this braided brass. I thought this was like just something so cool and different than I've seen. I just thought that these were absolutely stunning. I feel like with a beautiful linen curtain and I also picture, you know, some limestone walls and wood floors, again, mixing all of that material. I think that these would just be absolutely stunning in the living room space, bedroom, really anywhere they'd be beautiful. I also found this marble bird. On Anthropology, it is pictured as a doorstop, but I think that this could be really pretty to use also as a bookshelf styling, coffee table styling, entry, really any styling. I think that this would be really cool. Or you could use it as a doorstop as well, but I thought that was really pretty. The last item from Anthropology that caught my attention is this accent chair. It's in this very beautiful, very thin stripe print. And I just thought that this looks super timeless and just something I would love to add to my space. I really do wanna add accent chairs in our home one day, one day soon, please. <laughs> I, I just, I have been really looking at accent chairs. And I know that I share a lot of decorative objects with you. Would you want me to share more furniture pieces? Cause I've realized I do a lot of decor decorative objects and that's because I live in an apartment and that's kind of what I buy is the, the decorative stuff. So let me know if you'd be interested in me sharing more um, furniture or I could also do, I put a lot of uh, collages together. I used to do this more a while ago, but I would do like a whole room makeover or a whole area, like a bar or a living room or a bathroom. Let me know if you you want to see more of that as well i will definitely do more of those even over on my like to know it my instagram i could do it you know share them over on the community tab or if you prefer more of the decorative objects next we're moving to terrain which is probably the store that's going to have the most objects because i could not stop saving i just was smitten by so many items here. First, I found, actually I found a couple different plant stand little tables. I love these for a plant stand, but I thought you could even use these as a little drink table, an outdoor table, you know, between, uh, I have like two chairs on my little back patio and you could put, you know, a little drink table right in between or put one on either side. Drink tables are a must. If you don't have one, 
you gotta get one. They are such a game changer. I love them for all over. I don't even just use them for drink tables. I also use them in my bathroom. I use them, I use them everywhere. I love them. I think that they're just such a cool, such a cool item. Also from Terrain, I saved some like cocktail rimmers with salt and lavender. And then I also have, what's this one? Uh, salt and lime. I saved these as a reminder that I'm going to, in a vlog, I'm going to make some salts with you. So I can do like a rosemary salt or a lime or lavender. And I was like, wait a minute, I we, those are so easy to make. I mean, these are beautiful and the packaging is beautiful but we can make them. Oh, I forgot about these. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I found this candle care kit. This is gorgeous and such a beautiful gift. Oh my gosh. If you just got someone a candle and this, depending on, you know, what kind of president it is or, you know, who it's for, because this set isn't like the cheapest, but it's not bad. You could just do this, but this is such a beautiful set. I just want it for myself in my house and I will lay these out, but it comes with a candle snuffer, a uh, wick trimmer. And then what is this other thing here? Let me look. What is that? Like a little poker thing. I don't know what that that's for. What do you need that for? A wick dipper, snuffer and trimmer. What do you use a dipper for? Maybe if it like got stuck. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments if you know what a wick dipper is for. But anyway, this set is beautiful. It's actually in my cart and something I could see myself buying and keeping forever. I also love that the snuffer is one solid piece. I don't love snuffers that have like they move. I just, I don't know. I just don't prefer those. This set is gorgeous. I have two marble trays from Terrain. One is a soap and lotion tray, which I just thought was really beautiful to add that extra layer, whether that's at your kitchen sink, your bathroom sink, a guest bathroom, whatever, kind of corrals the soap and lotion. I thought that this was really pretty. You could also put this in, in your kitchen if you just have a hand soap and maybe a kitchen brush next to it, or you know, hand soap, dish soap, hand soap, lotion, whatever. I thought that this was really cute. I just, I really liked it. And I liked ha the thought of having that layer. And then the other one is this gorgeous tray that I actually have a couple vintage ones that are very similar to this. And this is an heirloom piece. I think if you were to purchase this, it is kind of pricey, but if you were, to, it, it's no more than the, getting it vintage though. I will say that, but getting this piece, investing in this piece, you'll have it forever. I use this or mine for so many different reasons. You can put it in the kitchen with a couple lemon on it on a bar. You could put it on your coffee table to corral items, bedside table, bathroom. I mean, literally they can be used for so many different areas. I think investing in little trays like this is one of the best home decor purchases I have made because you use them for so many different areas over and over again. You can reimagine them for different areas of your home. I mean, my stuff goes from one space, one room. It could be on the bar one week and on my desk the next week or on my coffee table one day and on my, on my media console the next. I think that's the best thing about getting pieces like this is they can be used for so many different reasons. I love them. This watering can is absolutely stunning. I, it's the, it's the most handsome watering can I have ever seen. It comes in a galvanized uh, finish. It comes in a black, it comes in a pink, it comes in a green. It's so pretty, but why is it so expensive? <laughs> I want to know why is it so expensive? Now I will say one day I might, I might splurge on this because it is stunning. And I just feel like once I have like a covered patio and I have like my gardening stuff out, I could use the, it could double as decor, but today we're going to keep it in my saves. <laughs> However, I think if you are someone who gardens a lot and you, you know, want to create that decorative space outside, this is stunning. It's so pretty. Another item from terrain is kind of, you know, not that necessary, but I want it. They have these bandanas and I think it comes in a green as well. I have the white one saved. I love these, especially just thinking about gardening or even me working outside on my refinishing my furniture pieces or my couple little plants that I have outside. It gets so hot here. I mean, like un, it's, it's hot. I, it, I'm not, so, I'm not talking about a hot summer day. I'm talking about a burning summer day. It gets hot. So 
getting a little bandana wet, you know, putting it around your neck, it just really helps keep you cool for a little bit before the bandana warms up from the heat. But I love these. I thought they were really, really cute. If you, if you are a gardener, I just thought this was really, really cool. It's this galvanized rain barrel. Basically, if you live in a space that rain or a space, if you live somewhere or a climate that rains a ton, this is such a cool idea. So basically you could put it under your gutter and it catches the rain in this bucket. And then it has a little spigot that you can fill up your watering cans or whatever and reuse the water. I thought that was so cool. But also I wonder if you could just like, if it really rains, like when we lived back in Oregon, I could just set this outside and it would collect the rain and I wouldn't need to put it under a gutter. But anyway, I thought that was super cool. I also really like this garden bristle broom. I thought that this would be really pretty to have with my gardening items one day, hopefully in the near future. I love hats. I don't know what it is about a hat. It just instantly makes you feel cute, especially when you're like outside working. Plus it's really good to have that protection against the sun on your face, especially, but really everywhere. So I saved a couple different hats that I thought were so beautiful, just timeless. I will definitely be that woman out there in her garden with her hat on thousand percent. I want to protect my face from any more sun damage. I love these. I think that these are absolutely stunning. Now I have four, so I will be flipping through those as I'm talking. They're all just so beautiful. I couldn't just sit, share one of them. So I had, to, I had to share them all. Terrain's trellises are just so unique and so different. I felt like I had to share those as well. I feel like these just really look elevated and just so beautiful. So I don't know. I don't have much more to say than that, but they are stunning. So if you're trying to, you know, grow something that might need a trellis, these are pretty. I also found these chic gardening gloves. I mean, these are so beautiful. Also from Terrain are a few different pots. This bell jar planter is really beautiful. This Stella ceramic planter, you guys already know I'm gonna love that one. It's very similar to a lot of the styles that I like, like my vintage clay pots. I pretty much share them all the time in almost every video because I love them. I think that they, I don't know, they just bring me a whole lot of joy. And then I found this smaller one that looks very similar to my vintage clay pots as well that I thought would be really beautiful to, to share as well. Oh, these hammered canisters with the brass lid I thought were stunning. I think the large is the only one available right now, but these are gorgeous. I loved them. I was like, I love those. Those are oh, totally my style. I would probably use them for food items, to be honest, instead of gardening. Nonetheless, they're gorgeous. Also, I have so much gardening stuff, I don't even have an outside. This just handheld piece that goes onto your hose, brass watering lance. I'm guessing it's called a lance. Gorgeous, I'm, I'm buying that when I get a house. I want that, I think it's beautiful. Moving on to, oh, one last gardening item that I wanted to share was this. I thought that this was just brilliant. It's this hand tool for gardening. It has a shovel on one end and a little rake on the other end. And I just thought it just looked really smart to me. So I had to share that. Also on terrain, they have a few serving items and I thought that they were absolutely beautiful, like this footed marble serving board. This is gorgeous. Another one of those items that you buy once, you will have forever. It Marble is just so incredibly timeless. And even as your style evolves, if you buy modern pieces or modern marble pieces, it'll evolve with your style, which I love, especially if you keep them in a timeless shape. I'm a big fan of charcuterie, so naturally, you know I'm gonna love these. <laughs> these little pillar candles are a cone pillar candle. I just thought were so unique, so different. I had to share them. I love using these like chunky little smaller candles for tablescapes because when you're sitting down for dinner or having a dinner party or sitting there for a long time, I love a taper candle, but they ruin everything. They ruin my tablecloths, and maybe I just need to get some better taper, taper candle holders. But pillar candles, I love because you can put them in a little container or on a serving board or you know whatever, and they, I don't know, they're just like a little bit cleaner to me, so 
I loved those. Next we have this rattan round tray. I love the braided detail. I love rattan this time of year, especially this year. I definitely feel like I'm gravitating more towards rattan more than ever. And I just think it really elevates a space, especially for the outdoors. And I just like this one. I thought this was really, you could use it as a harvest basket. You could use it as a serving tray. You could use it as a bread basket. The options are endless. This marble display platform I thought was beautiful. I love something that is a little bit more of a platform, especially if you are putting together a table that's going to be, you know, if you have a dinner party, you, any type of birthday party, uh, baby shower, whatever. These are so cool because you can add layers and levels to your food table or decorative table or whatever. So having a few of these on hand, I find to be so helpful because it really does help your whatever you're trying to display not fall flat having those different levels is game changer when you're displaying anything but especially food what's really cute about having a platform like this is you can have like grapes trailing off the side and kind of you know making it reach to the next plate or you know whatever you're trying to display love those so pretty i've been sharing so many like marble trays and cloches with you i just feel like i'm very drawn to them recently but this marble glass cake cloche so beautiful. It's kind of in the shape of a bell. And I loved how that was a little bit more of a feminine touch on my otherwise masculine style. Oh, hold on. We'll be right back. <laughs> I have to go, uh, take care of my sourdough real quick. I'll be right back. All right. Sourdough is taken care of. We can get back to shopping. So I think I was at the marble and glass cake cloche. And what I loved about this one is that it's in a little bit of a bell shape, which I think pulls a little bit more feminine. And again, just something so beautiful, so timeless. I feel like every kitchen needs a cloche with like a marble base that you can store your charcuteries, or not charcuteries, <laughs> baked goods in, cakes. You could even do, I mean, there's a picture of cheese and stuff on this. So you could absolutely use it for that as well. But also from Terrain, I saw this candle sharpener. I have never heard of a candle sharpener, a, tap a tapered candle sharpener. Have you heard of that? I feel like have I been living under a rock? I have not heard of this. I added one to my Amazon storefront too because I just wanted to price compare and they did seem a little bit similar, but this one's in like this copper color. So beautiful. I was like, wait, what is that? <laughs> it was very, very surprised. I've never heard of a candle sharpener. I thought that was really cool. I love my like weck jars, my French, I'm not even gonna lay parfait. I'm not, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. I love those, all those jars for all different reasons. I love them to store my, store my snacks. I love them for making like my sourdough starter stuff. I like them for so many things. I use them for everything, but I saw these weck jars that are in this deco shape is what they're calling it or deco wet jar set. It's kind of like the tulip, but it, it kind of like bulges out a little bit more. I thought these were really, really, really cute. I have a little marble slab for your dish, for your soap. Like if you liked bar soap, I also found this linen mitt oven mitt and pot holder, which I loved it in the linen. I thought that that was just very organic and beautiful. Uh, I also found this recycled wood lazy Susan. I thought this would be really good for a dinner party to be able to move, you know, you're sitting at the table and you can move to the other side. Brilliant. Love that. I really loved these fern napkins. These actually reminded me, these and then this wine glass reminded me of Lydia Millen. She's in the UK. I love her home stuff. Whenever I see anything about her home, I always check in, like watch her videos. And these just really reminded me of her space. So I saved them. I thought that they were gorgeous. So beautiful. I also really loved this ceramic serving platter with the uh, like woven handles. I thought that was 
gorgeous. I have one very similar to this, but this one looks a lot more like hardy and sturdy. Comes in a round shape and an oval shape. Then I also found this other pedestal plant stand. Again, you could use this as a drink table. I thought, oh, so pretty. But then, okay, I have a friend who loves cabbage plates. Like, she loves them. I just, I don't know that I like love the green cabbage, which I know like that makes sense. But these all white cabbage plates with just more of the indentation of the cabbage, these I can do. These I can do. This beautiful linen dish towel is absolutely like gorgeous. It's in this like linen tone with these green stripes. Another Lydia Millen kind of vibe that I like or uh, thing that reminds me of her, but I love green. Green, I have kind of come to terms with that that's the color I want to introduce into our home. It's more of a neutral color. It's something very soothing and I just, I love it. Also, back to anthropology. These marble coasters with the wreath really reminded me of that uh, pie dish I shared in the last video. So when I saw these, I was like, ooh, that would be really pretty. I'm super into monogram. So having like the pie dish and then you had something like the coasters, even though they're in completely different areas, it's like, threading through your house. I loved those. And then from Anthropology, I found these plates. These reminded me of the plates that I found at Maison Bleu, I think is what the store was called, outside of Boise. I think it was in Eaglewood. I did a whole video there. I Oh, that store is unreal. They import a lot of French everything, <laughs> decor and furniture and stuff. Well, they had plates like these. If they're not the same, they're extremely, extremely similar with the stamping. Love, love. Okay, we're moving on to CB2. CB2 is the store that I like to go to if I really wanna add some like modern touch. And to me, CB2 is kind of like today, okay, how do I explain this? I feel like definitely back in the 70s, you had like mid-century modern, you know, that like was kind of that vibe. I feel like CB2 is like that look, but up to date. I could be saying that so wrong. I'm not the, okay. Anyway, I like CB2 for a modern kiss, you know, to my home. So I found a couple of pieces. First, just being this gray travertine decorative ball. I do love these like sphere shapes that you can add to bookshelves and just somewhere that like needs art piece is what I'm trying to say. Like something that just needs, you know, like sometimes there's so much function to a space and you just need to throw in something that's a little bit like art, art, like art and beautiful and fun. <laughs> That's what I think about when I think about spheres. So also from CB2 was this black scalloped marble dish. Kind of looks like an ashtray, but I thought this was gorgeous. I think that this is an extremely timeless piece that just would be stunning really anywhere you need a catch-all bowl, coffee table, console, whatever. I think that this would be beautiful for that. They also have this uh, mango wood bowl that has the scallop edges. I don't know. The marble is actually less expensive and I would say would probably stand the test of time longer. So I'd probably go with the marble, but the mango wood is cool too. Oh, this vase is so gorgeous. Like to me, this looks like a handmade vase that you ordered from someone who does pottery, a, a potterist. <laughs> what do you call someone who does pottery? Ceramicist from a ceramicist. This is what, That's what they're called. I think so. A ceramicist? Maybe not. Google it. <laughs> Let me know. Anyway, this looks like something you would commission. It looks so beautiful. I really, really love this. And to be honest with you, it's a fairly decent price, I would say. I also really love this bud vase. Extremely simple. I almost didn't put it in this video because it is so simple, but these come in handy so much when you're doing a table, bedside table styling, something that you just need a little bud vase to sit, perfect. Did you figure out what it was? So some of them say potter, but one of them says ceramicist. Okay, oh 
Oh, okay. So a potter or a ceramicist. <laughs> I, I, I was, guess I was right a little bit. I love this marble serving tray from CB2. I do kind of feel like you could find this for less at, I've seen like a slab at World Market for less. Not as much detail. I do like that this has, its lip is lifted. I just like this one a lot. It's a little steep, but something you'd have forever. These have been in my cart forever. And, and let me say, not, I don't think all of you guys are going to love this, but I want these scorpion picks for their cocktail picks. And I want them for our bar. We live in Arizona. So, you know, we have scorpions here <laughs> and I just like, feel like this is just a fun way to kind of bring that kind of like where you live into your space, just a little bit, just like tiny little quirky touches I think can be really fun, but I think these would be so cool in a bar space or like gentleman's space. I don't know. They just add a little bit of like mood. I don't know if that's the right word. I like them. I think that these are just super cool. I really, really like these. I also really love these bottom heavy smoke glasses. Again, something I think would be really cool. And you could just put these in a gentleman's room, bar space, like anywhere, like a, maybe like a living room that you might just entertain in and, and kind of just hang out in. Having just a couple of these out and a bottle of liquor next to it, I think is such a cool vibe. So I really, really liked those. I also really like this clear double wall coffee mug. I actually have some from CB2 that are just single and I love them, but I like the double. It just adds a little bit more layer, a little bit more interest to the glassware. And I don't know, I think it's cool. Also these other cocktail picks, if you're not into the, if you're not into the scorpion like me, these are really cool too. They are just in this brass color, very timeless, very beautiful. I've also had these in my cart for a long time, but I think these are so nice to have instead of just having like toothpicks or, you know, especially if you have a smaller dinner party, elevating your, like using the real plates, using the real glassware, using real picks made out of brass or, you know, real like that or not toothpicks really elevates the experience. So if you can do that and kind of build up your collection, I think would completely elevate the experience. If anyone were to come over to your home for a dinner party, I just, I think it's those special touches that really stand out. I adore this bamboo bar tool set. I think that this is giving like a very old world vibe. So beautiful, especially if you had a designated bar area where you wanted to display these. And I really need to chill out on the barware. I love a bar. I l it's probably my favorite thing to collect for, to decorate, to, I don't know. I just love a bar. I just think it's so handsome. I love it. So these I think would just be beautiful on a bar and I love them. I also really love this cocktail shaker. I've seen this one in person and it is a little small, but if you just needed to cool off, you know, your sipping drink, it's perfect. I just think that this is just a cool shape, a cool vibe. I really like that. This uh, glass pitcher, I have a couple of these. I have one from CB2, I have one from Amazon. This one just is a little bit more modern. The ones that I have are a little bit more like of a cut crystal style. So mixing in something that doesn't have like the cut crystal and like too glitzy, I think is really cool to just kind of balance the different prints that I have even like in my glassware. So that's why I added this. And then I wanted to mention these tasting glasses. So I have these, but I use them. Remember when I was showing you that pillar candle earlier, I will put my candles in this and put them on our, you know, table when we're eating, but these are gorgeous for sippers or little like tasting glasses. If you had a dinner party again, I love these. And also I think it's pretty obvious by this point, but CB2 is one of my favorite places to go for barware. I just think that they do it in such a classy way. <laughs> like so good. Anytime I'm on there, I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is so good. Like so beautiful. All of their glassware is stunning. I actually saved a few that I will put on screen that I just think are gorgeous, like gorgeous. If anyone's doing 
barware, right? It's CB2. I also love Crate and Barrel's barware, but I feel like CB2 is a little more fine-tuned and a little more curated. So I really like to look at CB2 when I'm looking for barware. Okay, I've shared these before and I have to, again, just because I've talked a lot about barware, but these stainless coupes, I need to order these. I really need to order them. I know that they're on back order right now, but I just need to place it. Like they'll come, just place the order, forget about it, they'll come. But I just got my goblets. So I feel a little excessive at the moment, but these, uh, an espresso martini and these, are you kidding me? These are so, so good. Also these, dinner plates, very similar to the ones I just shared in my Target shop with me, but I like that these, ha they're a little bit raised. I don't know, I just really kind of like these a lot. And I thought about getting a few, first of all, showing my friend these, but also for our home, just a few for just like private dinners for Zach and I, or maybe like a set for like maybe six people, because I like them so much. I also keep looking at this little mini spoon. I just adore this. I feel like this is so cute. It, if you do like coffee beans, if you on a charcuterie, whatever you would use a little spoon for, so cute. Oh, this little uh, sea, like basket, I think it's a seagrass basket. How cute is this to put some like chips in or I don't know, whatever in. I like this, this is so pretty. Also very unnecessary, but this squeegee, it's gorgeous, I love this. I think it's so pretty. Okay, two rugs, uh, they have really good rugs, but there was just two that I was gonna mention because otherwise I feel like this video is gonna get so long. But one is this hand knotted, kind of more warm white, hand knotted New Zealand wool rug. I loved this. It comes in two different prints I, or uh, tones, I think. And then also they have this ivory, uh, hand loomed ivory area rug that is very similar. I think they had a wool one too, but very similar to the one that home goods that I never got that I am regretting. I need to get, hopefully home goods will bring it back, but if they don't, I can think about this one from CB2. But I think this is where I'm gonna stop today's video. I will do back-to-back -back videos of more shopping because I feel like this is now getting so long, but I still wanna share H&M and Zara home with you. Right after this video, the very next video will be Zara and H&M because I have quite a few items from them as well. Let me know down in the comments which item from today's video was your favorite. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in a couple days with another. Bye. I would say we were good together.